Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make a 12 to 220 volts inverter with just three components, a power MOSFET, a diode and a resistor. You can power this from you know, from 9 to 15 volts. The zener diode should be rated a maximum of 12 volts and at least half a watt. The resistor is 1 watt and at least to 20 to 470 ohms. The transformer can be of any type. A ferrite cone transformer will work well or even one with an iron powder or just an ordinary iron cord transformer. The windings between the primary and the secondary are 7 turns on each half of the primary and 150 turns for the secondary. And the capacitors you want is optional but it's recommended so as to act as a filter for the output AC. The working principle behind this is very simple. When the battery is connected, some voltage will be available at the gate of the MOSFET through the winding S3S1 and the resistor R1. And once the gate of the MOSFET has been pulled up to 12 volts, the MOSFET will conduct and so allow current to flow through the winding S3, S5 through the MOSFET and to ground. This will cause current to increase in the main winding and so with the magnetic field in the core of the transformer. It will induce voltage on the gate of the MOSFET in a manner such that it will cause the MOSFETs to be fully on within a very short time. And after some time, the core of the transformer will saturate and this will ensure that the current cannot increase any further. So the current will begin collapsing in the core and the negative voltage will be induced in the winding S3 S1 and to the gate of the MOSFET forcing it to turn off very fast. This will cause all the energy stored in the core of the transformer to be transferred to the secondary side where you can power devices that run on alternating current. As I had mentioned, the capacitors you want acts as a filter and also protects any appliance connected on the output from over voltage. It should be rated 275 volts AC, whereby if the voltage exceeds that, it will act as a short circuit and so protect the appliance. For the MOSFET, you can use any. The common IRF Z44 will work well and the diode protects the gates of the MOSFET from any voltage above 12 volts. The PCB board is as shown, the MOSFET, the input, the diode, the gate resistor, the power transformer, and here you have the output. And in 3D the board is as shown. This is the input and the output as per the schematic. Thank you for watching and I hope you like this video. If so, make sure to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice time and I'll see you in the next video.